This is Chris Yana Ho Painter. In this video, I'm going to show you how to actually mask off a cabinet, the inside of it. We're going to be spraying the face frames of these cabinets. I've been getting a lot of questions from my YouTube viewers and subscribers how we go about masking the boxes on these cabinets. And I'm going to show you, and it's a simpler process. You can either use paper or plastic. This time we're using a faster method, uh, using just plastic. So I use just inch and a half tape, and then I'm using a hand masker right here with inch tape and our plastic masking film. It's just a 72 inch masking film. And what I'm doing is actually just masking and putting tape behind the frames of the cabinet right here. And this is what our masking film is actually going to stick to. So I run this tape to the back side here, all around this cabinet. It's a pretty simple process. You're just, just masking it, sticking it to the back, and just leave about, you know, about an inch of the tape exposed. And then I'll be putting my plastic. Once we do our painting, you'll just peel it off. Sometimes you'll get a little bit of paint bridging from the plastic to the side of the face frame, but that's not the face of it. It's the inside, and it's easy to actually just touch that up. I'm just gonna run this tape. I've got two boxes here. I'll show you doing the two boxes here. The bottom it doesn't have the bottom doesn't have you know a lip to stick it behind. So I'm just gonna put my tape down on the bottom across the edge. I can see the face frame, the edge of it. I'm just gonna run my tape right along that edge. And you can use your inch and a half tape, or you can, right here, it may, depending on if it's a smooth transition right there, you might want to just use frog tape so you don't actually get any paint bleeding underneath that. So right here, I got my face frame and then the shelf, so I can just use some frog tape. And then the tape on the bottom right here, I'm just going to put frog tape right here, and then... I'm gonna use my masker now and just take cut a piece of masking plastic that'll go from end to end. And then we're just going to draw that down. And the tape, the adhesive is facing this side out so our plastic just sticks right to that adhesive. And then on the bottom, I'm just gonna take some tape along the bottom, just tack it to our adhesive, and then tack it on the bottom. And then you can look at it and you can make sure it's all tight, no holes. If there's any holes or anything sticking out, you can just touch it up with your tape. So I'll do this one right here, see if I can give you a good view of it here. It's hard to do. I'm trying to stay out of the way of the camera, so it's hard for me to, or make it so you can see it, so it's hard for me to actually do it and film at the same time. I'll get, see if I can move over here. Now run some frog tape on the bottom. And I'll give you a close up view of what that looks like. So here's a closer view of my tape on the back side of the face frame. And then I've got frog tape down here on the bottom right there. And hopefully you can see that, I'll focus it right there. So that's what it looks like prior to getting the plastic on. Here's now with it, with the plastic on it right there. You can see these are done 
right here with our plastic and then we'll begin doing stuff in paper behind the drawers so once again i'll just take and cut my plastic right here tack it to my tape and then just draw it down you can see i didn't quite get it why I didn't tear my plastic wide enough, so I'll just take, run some tape down here to fill that in. Make sure it's tacked, it's pretty easy. Let's get on the bottom, just take a piece of tape on the bottom. Make sure everything's tight. Check your corners. Make sure there's no holes. If you see any holes in the corners, just take a piece of tape on it. Fill that corner in. And there you have it. That's how you mask the face frame, the box. So we're just cruising right along and now you can see how we've masked these boxes using the method that we actually just showed you. We're just getting ready to get this all pressed up. You see we just mask these, the smaller ones with paper. Give you a close up look what it looks like. 